the village we're living in at the moment. I still can't remember the name of it, but it's like Furion on Silk or something. <laughs> oh, I've come the wrong way. Um, is on this like flowing river, which is just like the biggest natural resource of this whole area. Um, everyone, I guess, drinks it. Everyone boils it or uses it as rice. Uh, cooks their rice in it and then drinks the rice water. Um, you do your washing in it. Um, you bathe in it. But it's fast flowing and it flows out to the ocean. So it's relatively clean. Like we've, um, we've been drinking it. We've been using the SteriPen to um, sterilize the, um, the water and drinking it out of a bottle. But because it's fast flowing, it's like, it's, it's safe. Like we're pretty high up in the mountains and it's like 30 odd kilometers to the ocean still. So it's still fresh. And yeah, this is our bathroom. I just used the, the train. We have a uh, Zibu for you. Here's um, Katie literally shaving her legs. This is what we do. We're leaving today um, to head further into the mountains. We're going to another village. It's a, a bigger village, I suppose. Um, I need to get some more information on these places. I'm actually not sure of the population here, but I think it's about, in this particular area, maybe 2,000. Um, it's pretty small, but we've been living in this, like, in the shed, in amongst right in amongst the village. Like we have been a part of the village for the last 48 hours. And it was a very surreal experience like waking up inside a, a mountain village in Madagascar. Not a lot of people are gonna get the chance to do that in their lifetime and we feel very, very blessed. Um, and then to come down here and just wash our faces in amongst this beautiful nature. There's like mountains, there's like grass and oh God, man, it's just very, very nice. And I've been facing the wrong way, so the lighting has probably been terrible. But very happy.
uh, we're up at 5 a.m. and going for a walk. We're going for a hike to a property that they nicknamed Mozambique because apparently it's so far away that it feels like you're walking to Mozambique. But we've got the squad behind us. We've been walking for about five minutes and we've already had to cross a river. So my right leg is completely soaked. <laughs> And now it begins. Apparently that was the first of about five or six crossings like that. <laughs> so my shoes are literally just full of water. Uh, but this, where we are is stunning. And I'm just, we're just waiting for the sun to pop up before I take more footage. I'm just crossing those hectic river and mud crossings, like knee deep water. And we're in our hiking boots because everyone else is just wearing flip flops or barefoot. All these like jelly sandals that my sister used to wear back in like the 80s. Uh, yeah, wow. It really hits home how remote you are when you have to cross a river several times just to get to the pathway. And there really isn't a pathway, like the pathway is just this water. But um, yeah, again, we're pretty, pretty blessed, pretty lucky. I'm trying not to swear, so I'm trying to think of other words that I can use. <laughs> yeah, we're very, very lucky to, uh, to, be, to be on this hike and to be going to these properties. So this particular property, as I said, is nicknamed Mozambique, um, is owned by one of our employees, per se. So it's very uh, nicely close to home. We've been incredibly well looked after and we are very, very happy to be hiking in the wilderness. <laughs> I'm not really sure why they've called this uh, Mozambique. I'm inclined to call it Kilimanjaro. As you can see by the look of my face. I am cooked. Katie's cooked. The guys that are taking us are not cooked. And they're wearing bloody flip flops. And we thought we were fit. But on the flip side, you can see the view behind me. We just ate some fr fresh sugar cane, which for some reason in the wild, maybe the same everywhere, but something I didn't realize is that it's cold. Like it was just sitting there and it was cold. So we had cold, fresh sugar cane. We chew on it and you get juice out of it. Sorry if I look like a piece of shit right now, but there's like wild peas, there's ginger everywhere. Sorry, chameleon. I couldn't um, film it, it wouldn't let me film it, it ran away. They're very, very skittish, as I've noticed. Oh, my face right now does not make good content, but 
Fuck, I've just got to show you where we are and try and emphasize. We literally climb, I say literally a lot, I'm sorry. We are climbing a mountain in very, very rural Madagascar. It's a very local area, a lot of farming. I mean, we're, we're, we're walking to a farm. I can't even speak properly. I'm buggered, so I'm gonna stop talking to the camera. But just wanted to give you an idea or an update. And then I'll film once we get to the top because we're going really, really high up. Like we're, you know, we're amongst the highest mountains in the area and we're instantly lost. <sighs> Look at... Oh man, I'm buggered but I'm fizzing. This is good as. And yeah, sugar cane is delicious. <laughs> There's the top of Everest. And they're preparing us lunch. And that was a difficult hike. But this is a beautiful farm. And Johannes is celebrating the hike with a cigarette. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Um, the guy who owns this property lives up here quite often um, as his own form of security for his uh, for his field so they don't get thieves um, and yeah it's set up a little area to prepare food oh, man, it's beautiful like submerged in a rainforest on top of the mountain. He's even got this little set up with the creek. They're running fresh water, like probably about 50 meters to the top of the mountain. Maybe that's just straight fresh water. The source. It's amazing. In all. Very dense up here, so I can't get many much footage of the uh, view, but the view is incredible. Oh. <laughs> 